going to do a quick tutorial on Web Checkout. Web Checkout is a part of the CAGE system. Web Checkout allows you to reserve equipment for any projects online in any location. So if you are on a DMC computer, this is super easy because Web Checkout has a link right here, um, but you can also find this link to Web Checkout on the Visual Arts blog. And it's right here on the wiki, on the Visual Arts wiki page. Boom. Or you can use the URL, which is woc.art.columbia. .edu slash web checkout slash PRI. Now, what you see here is all of my checkouts. This is everything that I have checked out and when they are due. So, I have four checkouts, three are due on September 8th, and I also have a place for my upcoming reservations. If you have late equipment, you will not be able to make a new reservation and you will not be able to do any new checkouts. So right now, we're just going to create a new reservation. Under the tab called Reservation Information, you're going to put in when you want to pick up your equipment and when you're going to return the equipment. You can sign out equipment for two weeks at a time. That equipment can be extended, but that's something you'd need to talk to Peter about. Right now, I am going to decide that I want to pick up my equipment on a Wednesday on the 10th of September, and I'm going to pick it up at 4 o'clock. This is really important because the system will only allow you to make reservations while the cage is open. You can check out the cage hours calendar and see when the cage is open. So I'm gonna pick it up at four. I'm gonna pick this up um, on the 10th, and I have two weeks, so I'm just gonna say I'm going to um, bring it back on the 24th. So all that looks good. And now I'm going to go to the tab called Add Resources. Now on the Add Resources tab, this is where you can choose all any of the equipment that you'd like to add. So this is a resource type tab, and, and most of these you'll have a picture and or a description, sometimes a link. Alright, so I really want this mixer and I'm going to add it. Now under specific items of this type, we only have one of these mixers, so you're only going to see one, and I'm going to add it. Now as you can see, under the reservation info tab, Reservation contents now have this mixer. See? Super simple. How about a projector? Let's say we want a projector. We want an HD projector. We want an Optoma. Optomas are really great. Everything that says add means that it is available for the time that you have allotted. There is a color system. Now, I personally have two projectors out, which means that both of these projectors in green are mine. All of the projectors in yellow are not available. Anything that's listed in red will probably be red all through the entire timeline because it's not available at all. Sometimes that equipment is broken or there's a tag on it and we're going to get it fixed, things like that. Okay, so we're gonna add Optoma 04. So let's go to cameras. We're gonna go to some Mark 5s and I just wanna show you this. You see this blue? This means that this camera has been reserved for someone else. Someone else has made a reservation, which means it's going to be unavailable for you. But we do have a Mark III available for that time, so we're just going to add it. You come back to the reservation info tab here, and you're just going to click confirm. It says reservation confirmed, and you are done. Now, if you want to change anything about this, you can go back to add a resource and add more equipment to your listing. Super simple. Or you can go back to set times where you've already confirmed and remove equipment. So, you know, now I don't want that mixer actually. 
and I don't want that optomo. And then voila, you have it there. It's perfect, it's beautiful, it works, yeah.